greeting from ietp i hope all of you are safe and doing great as end of today discussion is transformer vector group selection for any ground mounted solar power plant for the difference i have taken one side picture so here we have the solar pv cells and this switch yard here we have the solar substation we have and we wanted to select to vector group for this transformer here since transformer is very important and costly equipment for any ground mounted solar power plant therefore proper care is required during design and the selection stage whenever we talk about the transformer so we have three type of the transformer in any solar power plant let me take one reference single hand diagram here we can see that the first one that is this inverter transformer we call as the inverter duty transformer idt idt stand for the inverter duty transformer this one second transformer we have that is the auxiliary transformer for the auxiliary loading of this station and the third one we have that is the power transformer so if you see this uh, vector group of the transformer for the power transformer we have taken the vector group is star s star so hv and lv both side we have taken the star vector group star winding configurations and when we come on this uh, inverter transformer this inverter duty transformer so here we have taken the star and delta delta coming on the inverter side so that we are going to discuss that why delta coming on this this inverter side why not a star coming over here and second in when we talk about this power transformer so why we have taken a star why not we are taking the delta over here so that is the agenda of the discussion so we will discuss the concept and after the concept we will apply these concept while when we will doing preparation of any single line diagram for any solar power plant and these concept we will simulate by the etap software as well so that we can have the uh, this uh, proper understanding with help of the software also so coming on the uh, discussion this vector group uh, in solar power plant transformer vector group in solar power plant this so let us discuss first of all the basic concept of the vector group or the winding configurations so what is the vector group actually the vector group indicates the winding configurations of hv and lv and the phase angle displacement between the hv and lv so the two most common configurations of winding connections we have that is the delta and the star so and any three phase transformer can have the delta delta or can have the star star or can have the different delta star or the star delta like this and when we are doing this uh, representing this winding configurations in the drawing in the single hand diagram so we have to follow this uh, designations the hv will come by the capital letter lv will come by the star uh, by this uh, small letters and the phase angle displacement we have to indicate by the numeric uh, 1 6 or 11 whatever the phase angle displacement we are selecting so the vector of high voltage winding is taken as the reference vector here so that we need to remember that vector of uh, hv winding we take as the reference vector and the rotation we take as the anti clockwise rotations this two point is important here so displacement of the vector of lv from the reference hv vector with anti clockwise rotations is represented using this clock or figure 1 6 or 11 if we are taking this dy and 11 what does what is the significance of this dy and 11 is that hv is in delta lv in the star with neutral and 11 stand for the phase displacement phase angle displacement between lv and hv and and 11 this is stand this is stand for the that lv winding is leading 30 degree from the hv in anti clockwise rotations this why uh, this hv winding we take as the reference winding so lv is leading by 30 degree in anti clockwise uh, rotations from the hv we can understand like this So 
so here we have this hv binding here we have this lv binding and then this hv binding when we represent by the clock or figure this hv binding we indicate uh, as the reference and this we indicate on the 12 clock rotation we have to take anti clockwise rotations so this will be my rotation direction of the rotations clockwise direction is this but i am we have to take this anti clockwise direction this is the internationally adopted rotation so if rotation is anti clockwise this we have the 12 here if we are coming over here this L one point and this is my 11 point so if lv is going on to 11 this lv a rotation is anti clockwise we have to take it means the lv is leading by 30 degree from hv if the vector group we are taking as dy and 1 it means the lv is lagging by hv 30 degree this 30 degree so 11 and 1 hope difference is clear between dy and 1 and dy and 11 we can see this by the graph also by the eta plot also this is my hv this blue here this is my lv and this is leading by 30 degree here so this is meaning of dy n1 and dy and 11 again we take some more example here we take dy n1 so hv winding delta lv winding is star neutral here one means that here this lv is lagging 30 degree from the hv why lagging because the rotation is anti clockwise that is why it is lagging over here this clock we can take as the reference this is my 12 is my hv if this uh, one coming it means this is lagging if it is coming on 11 then it is 30 degree leading here no zero phase if here zero phase displacement no leading lagging both is overlapping and here we can see this 180 degree phase shift here when we indicate this dy n1 vector group in the drawing so we have to indicate by this this delta this is star and this we have to wrote we have to take on the one this one it will go on the one and like this we have to indicate this dy n1 into the single line diagram when we come on this dy n 11 so dy n 11 means that digit 11 is stand for the 30 degree leading so lv leads hv by 30 degree it means this 12 is my hv lv is coming on the 11 anti clockwise direction is my reference direction so this is 30 degree leading so the understanding uh, clear between dy n1 and dy n 11 okay now coming on the vector group selection so transformer vector group in solar power plant what vector group we select so when we going to select for this uh, inverter duty transformer this uh, inverter duty transformer the vector configuration for this transformer so we go with the y and d1 d1 we take delta on the inverter side and star on this uh, transmission side why when we connect transformer with the inverter then we use the transformer with delta winding on inverter side and star winding on the transmission side the reason is why the following is the reason we are pro we, we are providing delta connections on the inverter side the first one that third harmonic voltage are eliminated since the third harmonic current is circulated in the delta and delta winding blocks to flow in inverter third harmonic current here we can understand by the picture also so this is my delta connections so this third harmonic current will circulate inside the delta so this delta will trap this third harmonic current so it will not going to flow in the inverter if we have the star so on the neutral point this whatever the third harmonic coming it will add up so here we are getting more harmonic on the neutral point second third harmonic current flowing in the phase adapts in neutral in case of a star winding if we select on the delta side the third harmonic current is trapped in the delta 
so not being transferred into inverter and inverter get protected from this so the point is this if we selecting this third delta winding on the inverter side so the third harmonic current will circulate inside this delta and it will not being sent to the inverter and inverter is protected from third harmonic current let us understand with the help of the simulations so i take this uh, generator here we are taking then we have this transformer bus one this 33 kv generation it is coming on the bus after generator we have this transformer we can say this is the gen generic transformer the inverter transformer generating transformer we have and then we have this uh, load bus and then we have we are connecting some load over here now if we have uh, this is star star winding we are discussing on the third harmonic component that so we go in the e tab for this uh, harmonic analysis we select this option after that we go to this uh, harmonic load flow when we run the harmonic load flow we have this star star we are going reverse we are not going taking this delta here i am taking the star here so what will happen if i take this star on this generator side or the inverter side in that case if we do the harmonic load flow analysis we can see here this harmonic current this harmonic order here so total total harmonic they are indicating as of now so we can see here the total harmonic here 4.22 tsd total harmonic distortion 0.431 voltage here and on this uh, generator side or the inverter side the harmonic distortion it is coming 1.17 percentage this is the total harmonic distortion total harmonic if we run this slider we go to the third harmonic because third harmonic is the most dangerous one so first and then we are going to third harmonic so we when we go to third harmonic we can see here this third harmonic voltage 0.385 kilo voltage third harmonic voltage coming on this it means they are injecting the harmonic to the generator here so generator is not protected by the harmonic now let us change the let us change the winding configurations if in place of the star i select primary delta here we take a star why is star that we will discuss so i am taking delta now on this uh, generation side here delta and now again we do the harmonic load flow so if i again run the har harmonic load flow yes we can see here total harmonic distortion here 3.06 percent is tst here but when we see on this generator side this is zero tst so there is no any harmonic if we have delta again total harmonic zero percent is if we go on the third harmonic this third harmonic we can see there is no third harmonic voltage zero kilo voltage so here we understood by this simulations that if i take delta on the inverter or on the generator side so the third harmonic current will not being transmit to the generator or the inverter so this will be protected from the third harmonic so every generating power plant the generator side or the inverter side the selection should be delta winding as we have we can see here the one reason is the protections against the third harmonics against the harmonic current now second reason why delta second reason is the zero sequence current so delta connection traps the flow of zero sequent current zero sequent current normally called as the earth fault current so inverter is protected from zero sequence fault current the this uh, delta winding blocks zero sequence between the delta connected circuits therefore the delta connection is required on inverter side to prevent the zero sequence current entering into inverter so let us again come here and let us see this uh, zero sequence or any line to ground fault when we do this uh, short circuit analysis on the this uh, transformer if we take uh, this uh, again let us go a star suppose not delta we are taking a star we are taking then what will happen go to this uh, line to ground fault this run ic60909 yeah so when i run this ic60909 
in that case we can see here and uh, this we are taking any line to ground fault okay we can see here this 0.334 kilo ampere the fault we are taking the fault on the bus too here this load side bus we are taking the fault so when the fault occurs on this we can see the impact on the fault current we can see the here the fault current also on the generator or the inverter side okay now let us change the winding configuration of this transformer i take delta on the inverter side and a star on the load side then what will happen if i take delta and again run the this uh, line to ground fault analysis zero sequence current let us see yeah we can see here initially here some current value is coming but now there is no any current on this inverter or the generator side zero current so the line to ground fault current not going to flow here so second reason as we can say that this inverter or generator is protected by the line to ground fault current or the zero sequence current so if we take delta then again we can have this advantage of the protection of this inverter from the zero sequence current and this star while we take here the, on this transmission side so if we have the star so for the economical purpose we take the star configured or y configured winding is used on the hv side as the y configured winding the voltage is we are getting as the phase voltage so the phase voltage is divided by root 3 by line voltage so when the voltage reduced voltage stress reduce then insulation cost also reduced and we can have the reduced cost of this transformer so that is why we are taking this star connections for the economical purpose now uh, let us discuss about this power transformer let us discuss about uh, this power transformer that we have for the power evacuation purpose star star we have taken over here so when we have the power transformer for the power export import transformer that we take star star the reason why we go with this star star for the power export import transformer in power transmission purpose transformer star star connection is preferred in the transformer is uh, when we have this star star uh, this uh, vector group so the phase voltage again the same concept the phase voltage is going to reduce by root 3 the phase voltage is equal to line voltage divided by root 3 so when on the on every phase the voltage is stress reduced by root 3 so the insulation cost also going to reduce by root 3 so when we take this star star connection uh, winding so the transformer insulation cost is highly reduced and due to due to cost economical purpose this is cheapest winding configurations available or all of among all of the winding configuration the star star is the cheapest winding configurations transformer so we go with the star star due to the cheapest winding configurations and second point when we have the star star so we can have the graded insulation facility in the transformer so the star star provide the graded insulation so saving in transformer insulation cost and eventually saving in overall cost of the transformer so that is why this uh, power transformer we are selecting as the uh, this uh, star star vector group and for the auxiliary transformer we go with the dyn11 as usual so this is the reason that uh, uh, we select this delta star or the star star uh, side vector group vector configurations for the transformer so this is for the solar power plant transformer vector group configurations so thank you thank you for watching